My name is Elizabeth and I'm one of the three Pisces deputies for the Temple of Witchcraft. Today I will be talking about the divination system that I use the most, that I have curated over the last few years, and that has become an integral part of my personal practice. So this month we wanted to share our takes on divination and uh, which ones that we personally worked with the most. And for me, that is bone reading, or in my case, something along the lines of found item casting. Back in Witchcraft 2, we were challenged to learn a divination system that uh, was new to us, and I had at that point dabbled quite a bit in different divination systems, and so I decided to find one that was completely new to me. And then from there, it grew into something that ended up becoming almost more of a reality map. In fact, it was my reality map for Witchcraft 4. So what is a bone reading? Essentially, bone sets are a collection of items that mean something to the reader and are cast in a way to read fortunes. Different cultures have used this in many different ways, uh, from burning scapulas to read the marks in them, to uh, throwing bone dice, to found collection items. Across these different cultures, you'll find a variety of different meanings associated with these, uh, and they're honestly just as varied as the readers who are using them. Traditionally, bone sets are built with the ancestors in mind. Uh, typically, either the ancestors of the client, the reader, or both are called upon, and they are the ones who are speaking through the bones, and the reader is the interpreter. That said, there's a lot of room for interpretation and personalization in bone reading. No two bone sets will be exactly the same, though there may be similarities. That said, <laughs> um, my personal set, I actually, I do work with the ancestors in some form, but my focus is in working with the spirits of place. And so all of the items that are in my personal set, which you will see in just a bit, are collected from either our community, they were gifts given to me, they were given to me by family members, or they were found within nature where I live. So contrary to the name, bone sets are not made up out of just bones. Oftentimes they're a mixture of bones, curios, shells, beads, and other trinkets that mean something specific to the reader. Um, I had actually been collecting pieces for a divination set for years, and quickly something like a bone set ended up coming together. Shortly after I started doing more research on bone readings and found a lot of information on bone reading derived from more of a hoodoo approach, which is more common here in America, while I learned a lot from this approach, a lot of the traditional pieces in these sets didn't work well for me. As you can imagine, a lot of the pieces were very Southern Conjure oriented, uh, and here I was having never moved out of New England um, and just not connecting with those pieces. And so it was more important to find something that I connected with that was from the same place I was. And I would highly suggest doing the same if you decided to build your own. Now, that said, there's absolutely nothing wrong with using traditional bone reading sets. In fact, I have a lot of respect for the root of things. Um, however, I personally also have a very animistic practice built out of a relationship with my own genai loci or spirits of place, and I suddenly felt very um, pulled to putting together a set that reflected my relationship with them. So when it comes to reading the bones, I'm going to pan over to my bone set so you can see how that is done. So here is my personal bone set. Um, as you can see, it is quite decorated. That is not necessary for a starting set. All you would need is a tray, a collection of items, and whatever you feel called to use. So my tray in particular started off as very plain when I first started building the set. However, as years went by, I ended up building my own system of interpretation and where things fell and ended up marking this on here in order to have a visual representation of that. Now within the bone set, I personally carry a few items that are used in uh, sets if they so choose. A sort of what I like to refer to as the bench. 
and then the main bones themselves. Now how this would work is I would have the person I'm reading for hold this and they would speak to it their intention of the reading. They would then take this and shake it gently or not so gently, but I don't want it to be too loud. And they would shake this and then toss it into the set. Prior to this, we would have cleansed the set. I would have whispered to them and woken them up for that reader and called on any of the reader, sorry, my spirits and any of the client's spirits as well to be present in this reading. I then use, if I'm specifically doing an online reading, a item of some sort to point at the items. So this is what I have been using. Uh, this is just a candle scribe, but to be able to point at the items while I'm describing the reading so that they have a visual cue. And then some items that are sometimes used if I need a basic kind of yes or no clarifying. So these are uh, dice made of bone. Some other items that are not always used but are sometimes used are additional dice. So I always have dice on hand. And these have been specifically blessed for the purpose of this. I also have, if I can find them in here, there we go. So there are also a couple of rose hips which can be used as signifiers for different people in the reading. These um, skull beads are used for spirits that want to participate in the reading. And then I also have these riches, which is runes from Christopher's class that I put on eight-sided dice and sometimes also incorporate into the reading or use them as a casting system of their own. On the bench here, we have items that I'm actually not going to show you, but I keep them in a separate pouch that go with the bone set. Now these items may be things that said that they wanted to be used, but don't have a clear defined purpose yet, or I don't have that relationship with them yet, or they may um, be used in some readings, but not all. And then this is that core bone set. So how does the core bone shake up? Now, if any items were left behind in the case, that would be a significant thing to take note of. If anything fell outside of the tray, that would also be something to take note of. But from here, we would read where the items fell on the board in relation to other items. So in this case, I have this separated into north, east, south, and west. I also have it separated into 12 sections, which represent many different things, but it can be used to tell time. It can be used as the astrological houses um, and many more. It's much more of an intuitive reading, and so it will make itself known during the time of the reading itself. We also have the phases of the moon here, which tend to represent more of a lifetime uh, of, of the reader and when things may happen. So certain items may overlap and that is good. That is fine. Some items may fall into each other. For instance, the key here um, may have this acorn in the cir circle there. That may also provide some significance. So these items I've been using for years, some of them have come and gone, some break, some enter at different intervals, um, and we've really gotten to know each other. It's really much more of an intuitive system that the pieces themselves and I have a relationship in which they tell me how they want to be read. Uh, and that may even change from client to client. So it's something that requires a lot of listening. If you were interested in starting your own bone set, I would suggest collecting a few items that you may even already have, that you may have already collected, which is tend to be magpies of sorts, so I wouldn't be surprised if you did, and work with them one-on-one, -on -one. carry them with you in your pocket or in a pouch throughout the day. Uh, let them attune to you and you them, and get to know what they may mean for you. And over time, you may just find yourself with a bone set you can read with.